wonder how that looks on the stream. You probably get it not in a good way, huh? Huh. Because the camera... I could put it upside down maybe, and then do it like this. Does that work? Did it switch it for me? I think so. No, I can't do that. Let's keep it this way. Alright, keep it like this, and then try it like that. Um, yes, chair, so I can see my phone. Uh, I might be tall, but I'm not that tall. And my trash can nearby. Okay. So make sure everything's like good on it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's do a little more. Make sure it's nice and straight. Okay. So today, we're making the best breakfast sandwich in the world. And it comes in many, many different varieties. Many different, um... Oh, let me wash my hands first. Many different uh, varieties, many different um, formats. <laughs> I guess you call it. You just you just uh, uh, pick what which format you you feel like during that time. So basically, uh, it's just protein, two eggs, or depending depending like how much sandwich you want, how much bread there is. But you you want, you want a good ratio of everything, right? And then each meat and each whatever has its own ratio. So. What is it? Purge Gamer Berlin. I'm on my phone and I'm cooking. But if you could describe to me that link in great detail, I'll be willing to experience it the way you envision me experiencing it. I'm trying my best, but okay. Yeah, so it's just. I'll keep the bacon on there and I'll start talking before we start cooking. But. It's just protein, egg, cheese, um, toasted bread, and. Mayonnaise. I got scissors. Scissors are so useful until things forget about how useful they are a lot of time. I'll wash the scissors. And you don't need to start with oil with the bacon because bacon is really oily on its own. Yeah. Um, two bacons is good. So because a lot of times the the protein, uh, keep in mind that that they that they shrink, right? Oh uh, dang it! I need the scissors to cut this bacon. I just go get a little quick and rinse them. So bacon, it's good. They, um, how should I say this? It's, uh, it's really uh, greasy and oily, really fatty, right? It's kind of like sausage, too. So you don't need to um, put oil in the pan to start out with. It just kind of does it on its own. And then you use that oil for, like, uh, baking grease or eggs or other, other things. Now, this keeps it a little too high. I don't, I don't want to make it cook that fast. I like it more crunch crunchy. But the faster you cook your bacon, the more it'll be, um, how should I say, the more juicier it will be. And that's a concept that we can talk about right now. It'll be like, um, I don't, how do I get my bacon to be juicy and, and, or crunchy, right? So basically, you would, um, basically, you're, you're, uh, how, how slow and how fast you cook it, right? So, the faster you cook the bacon, the, the, the more it retains its, its uh, humidity, the, the water inside, so it, it uh, stays uh, 
of juice here and, and not as crunchy. But if you cook it on low, the longer it takes, and, and, the, and the more time the, 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 the water inside the bacon has um, to get out, out of the bacon, and it just kind of makes it uh, very crunchy. So low heat makes it crunchy, high heat makes it juicy. That goes for most things, so like chicken breast. If you want to put this on the highest, the hot your, your, your pan could, could possibly be, um, put some oil, season both sides first, and then uh, you put it in the pan, it'll sizzle, it'll create a, a, a caramelization, and then, and then once it creates that, that, that car, uh, it caramelizes, and it, and it, um, it, it begins to brown, and it, it begins to like left off the pan easily, you flip it, cook it on the other side, same thing, same thing, but the inside is you cook, and then you side it in the oven for about 350, for about, I don't know, depending on how big the chicken breast is, and you have your, and, and basically what that does is is um you 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 create a seal on the chicken that, that, that keeps in all the humidity, all the juices, and what you left with is a very juicy chicken breast. Oh, it's a rickroll. <laughs> you got me, dude. Oh. Yeah, that was good though. You keep trying, keep trying, keep it up. Honestly, you would have you would have gotten me because I click on all the links. On I really do. You would have gotten me. I I don't have bacon on here anymore. Just put that up. These both bags are so good. Like, zip bags are so useful. Like, you don't need a container. You just zip, 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 lock them. <laughs> it's a rickroll. I feel so, I feel so sad. <laughs> What'd you expect? I gotta click on fucking links, man. Oh, man. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Sorry. I can turn off my vibration on my phone. I'm gonna give it a good flip after I turn off my vibration. There we go. Okay. Oh, smell it. So a lot of times, if you listen to your food, I'll tell you when it's done. You can smell it and hear it. And I smell it right now. I smell the done bacon. And I'm used to um, like the heat, so don't, don't really try it if you're not used to it, like touching the bacon and stuff. It just because since I'm so used to cooking and the heat itself, I feel I know what I can touch and what I can't touch. Alright, I'm gonna swap these ones out. Put this one here. Alright, bacon done. So yeah, so this will be like uh, the protein base. And a lot of times, a lot, a lot of proteins, they're really salty, right? So you don't have to really salt them or pepper them. Depending on the ham, maybe you might want to salt your ham just a little bit. Or maybe you might want to pepper your ham a little bit. But like, like sausages and bacon, they're really uh, seasoned a lot, right? Because the reason why they're so salty and seasoned already is to help fight off um, uh, bacteria and stuff like that. So I don't have a toaster. And I've grown uh, more used to do, do, doing the bread this way now. My toaster broke. And basically we're just going to toast the bread in the pan, which is really easy. Oh, true. Wait, I can fill it up with my phone and then sync that up with Twitch, right? At least that's what you're saying. That's what it sounds like. But don't you want to hear that sizzle? Okay. And so, like the same thing I was talking about humidity with um with like meats, right? Like chicken and the bacon. Um, the same thing with the humidity applies to um most things you cook as well. So, like the bread, right? Uh, I want to cook the bread on high heat because I want the bread to be soft, and I just, I just want it crunchy on on that one side. I don't, I don't want it to be dehydrated or, or get stale faster. And that will happen if you uh, how should I say? If you cook um the bread really slow on the on the on the on the on the pan. 
So yeah, I don't want um, juicy, I don't want uh, crispy bacon, but I don't want juicy bacon either. I don't want to be able to like kind of, I don't want it to, to get pulled out with the, uh, with the bread. So this, this is a good mixture right here. And another thing too about bacon is when you're cooking it, and you, um, it, it gets, uh, how should I say, it hardens as it cools. So, I'm just kind of checking both sides, making sure it's all goody. Yeah, that's good bacon right there. And we don't need this much oil for the eggs, and we don't need this much oil for the bread. Or any oil at all for the bread. So I'm going to dump a lot of it out. Usually, I'll put it in my, just put it in my trash can. But I can't do that right now. Because there's nothing in my trash can, it'll just burn through the plastic. So I'm just gonna have an oil jar. Never put oil down the sink, it's bad for the pipes. Yeah, I'll read what you wrote right now, Killa. Give me a minute. But yeah, I, I can look into some boots and headsets. I got some disposable income. crank this up a bit higher the heat for the bread and also I don't want to be standing around all day monitoring bread you know be careful what I'm doing because the the, the, the the napkin acts like it could it stops a lot of the heat but then the napkin also absorbs the heat really fast so yeah basically what I'm doing I'm just getting out not so much the oil but just like the, the black stuff that comes from the bacon all right get this out of here Hmm. Well, what, what kind of uh, mic do you think I should get? There's, there's probably like a lot of like easy like, like like standard microphones. But I don't want I don't, yeah a headset one would be good. You're right. I don't think I don't want one that's like on the ground because you hear all, hear all the the banging. You'd be like a fish in a fishbowl. No, I don't want this much mayonnaise. It's just because it's it's hard to get some mayonnaise. But I just want like a nice coating on it. Alright, mm. that's good. Like that, right? That's good. Not too much, not too little. Juice up there. So I want this to go kind of fast. And the mayonnaise acts as um, like oil. The mayonnaise is oil too. It's like egg and oil. It's the base component of mayonnaise. You can make mayonnaise at home. I might make mayonnaise on stream one time. It's just time consuming. It's very time consuming to make my name by hand. It's a good workout. We still need the mayonnaise so. though. Alright, that's where my bread's gonna go. And my plastic plates, they get melt melted through sometimes. So I just don't need to be here anymore. So I'm gonna put a napkin under the plastic plate so it doesn't get melted through. If you have any recommendations for mics, I'll look at them. Probably get them. For like, like I actually, we'll, we'll get a bike. Now that you just suggested it. All right, these they go pretty fast. They don't cook evenly, so make sure you got like kind of indent them. And then you can hear the bread cook more when you press it in. Yeah, very soft, good bread right now. So you can use the spatula. I like to fill it out myself personally. Now this is good, like from like normally, like on average, people, most people like this. But I like it a lot crispier. Yeah. So the 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 the, the mayonnaise acts like it's like a how should I say, like a like a oil agent, right? So it would be like butter or uh, oil. When you oil the bread, butter bread, so it doesn't stick, and it creates like a nice uh, crispness to it, a nice like color on it. Mayonnaise, mayonnaise, I think, is it the best color and the best flavor. And then you can like customize your mayonnaise and however you want, all kinds of different types of mayonnaise. See, I like it kind of like black, almost like that, just like that. Mmm. 
And then uh, we want to switch off the eggs, so I'm going to turn this down to like about medium. And then I'm going to take the pan off the heat, let it cool down a little bit, because I don't want my eggs to go. <laughs> Ugh, too much mayonnaise. And then you would mayonnaise the inside right here. So. This is hot right now, I don't really want to mess them with it if I don't have to. You don't want too much mayonnaise because it's mayonnaise getting overpowered, but you just want like a nice little thin layer of it. You yeah, actually took up a lot of it, it's just a little bit there. And mayonnaise has two different flavors, like the cooked mayonnaise, that's the one that we're going to have, and the mayonnaise, like in the, well it's, it's already like kind of cooked, right? It's just, yeah. Like a... Uh, so like the mayonnaise that's caramelized and the mayonnaise that's not caramelized. I'll do research on it. I'll figure it out. I'll see. I'll see what what the pros get. Yeah, but the sim the best breakfast sandwich in the world is like ultra simple. Very easy. And a lot of times it's just um, you want to have a, it's a lot of it. Just make sure everything seasoned well. And you have a good ratio of everything. Yeah, I'm learning right now too. I'm so, we're so we're still cooking the best stuff for so much so many times. You know, this is just the the best build of the perfect sandwich. I might um, manage both sides and put it next time because I, I just don't don't think that because if because the hot may mayonnaise can melt and get more liquidy. I don't want the mayonnaise to melt and sink into the bread. And what you get is like a mayonnaise like infused bread. I just want like a mayonnaise spread, not a mayonnaise infused bread. Alright, let's see. Yeah, let's go here. This is how I want my, my bacon. Just like this. Like, uh, you can bend it and it bends with you, and if it kind of breaks off, that's why I want it. Perfect. It's pog, as the kids say. And it's okay if, if, if your, your your components kind of stick out because, you know, it's just, like, who doesn't want a sandwich that's just bursting at the seams, right? It's always good to have that. You gotta be perfect with it. Ooh, you know, that's, that's how I like my, my bread right there. That's just how I like it. Just like that. It's really hot. I'm gonna cool down. So, yeah, that's why I don't want to mess, mess with it and, like, manage it. On both sides, it's just easier to deal with and manage it later. So now we're going to turn this down to a little bit like less than medium for my eggs. Every pan is different. So right now I'm just cooling it off. That's pretty crazy. Like th this pan like emits heat. Like if you put your hand like uh, on the sides of it and stuff, like uh, it's not that hot. If you put your hand like above it here, it just, it just shoots out heat. Like it's interesting how they... Oh, it just happens. You design it well, it does what you know, it shoots out heat from this area. And then I don't want this stuff, this stuff is gonna burn the bread. I don't know if you can see that, can you? Yeah, the bread stuff, the bread crumbs. So I'm gonna get that out. Yeah, so basically, the best of every sandwich is just how well you season everything, the proportions of everything. And just how well you, like, just how um, consistent you are. How well can you make, make it, you know? And that comes from the toasting part, the cooking of the bacon part, the cooking of the egg part. It all kind of comes together and adds up. I'll just get a little bit of oil. It's like a little bit too much oil, but it's not a big deal. It's fine. And then we drown everything in video. Yes, yes. I see. A returning student, I see. Mm, yes. But no. It's just a good balance of everything. You want like a little bit more mayo. Just mayo on both sides, and then you just toast one side. A very thin layer. Because 
last thing that you want though is, well, I mean, it depends, you know, like it's your world, it's your food, however you want to eat it. That's cool with me. But for me, I like mayo as an accent. It just complements the dish, yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't really want it to be something that's, uh, how should I say, like a focus of the dish, because it's not, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a condiment. Compliments. Condiment, compliment. And it's just, this is another thing, like, here's a key thing, like, if you're making something that has a lot, a lot of components in it, make sure every component is flavorful and seasoned and cooked right. And then you can't go wrong. Any dish that you make from that point on will always be good. Always. Okay, so how does this? Mm. You can tell how, how, how hot oil is by visually and feeling like the, the, the heat, right? So it's supposed to be hot, and also like when you look at it, you can see the oil. The oil when it's hot, it, it pulls together and actually group up with itself. And this one's pulling together to itself, but not that fast. You can watch this. You ready? Look, both hands. You ready? Oh my god, you're crazy! Oh, dude. Yeah, that's too hot. <laughs> that's okay. And get my seasoning. I always, um, I learned to do it by hand. I used to just um, go in there like that, but my hand's way better. how much salt the entire dish has always so maybe the egg itself might need because this egg needs more salt it does but the bacon's really salty the mayo has salt so i don't need that much more salt you know so like um uh, uh how should i say um crepes right crepes they're really how should i say uh the caramel, I like my crepes caramelized. I like my, 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 crepes, my crepes with color, right? But in, in France, they, they don't like it with color. They like it like white, right? But um, in Korea, when they cook eggs, they like a whole bunch of color on, on their eggs. I don't like that. I don't like the texture of it. I don't like the flavor of them. And this is good for me. I like it just like this. There we go. And put your cheese on. And then we're done. And like I said, I like my sandwiches fucking big, messy, and just have no, just don't make no logical sense. That's why I like it. Alright, and that's how you make the best breakfast sandwich in the world. She's getting a close up. Alright, let's stop chat. How's it going? Let me see. Oh, I'm just reading chat right now because I was focused on the cooking part. Mm. Damn, I use a lot more for oil for my eggs. Oh yeah, it, also, it depends on the pan. I think these pans are like 40 bucks for like a set. Yeah, get them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. It's Wugga. Tell them. Oh yeah, there's also there's, there's, there's egg pans and then there's like other pans like that pan that the one that's that, that's very sticky with eggs would probably be better for like um making stews or making um how should I say like uh, sauces and things not because it doesn't not because cause, like you don't have to worry about sticking in sauces but because there is sticking and that you, uh, you could use like oils or some other things or like lemon or whatever like whatever you need in the dish to like bring up all the the fond which will be like this stuff that sticks imagine that being like meat and other whatever and that's all flavor right it brings it back up and puts it back in the sauce or back in whatever you're making but that's not good for eggs obviously because you don't want your eggs to stick <laughs> oh you monster oh sorry about that Wilga. yeah i just like it because i don't really want to deal with um the yolk going everywhere 
Hey, it's my world, man. Let me live my life. <coughs> Hold on. Like, my hair is kind of everywhere. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for the stream, guys. If you guys enjoyed it. If you guys liked it. Look at that bad boy. It's very pretty. Very cute. I like the lighting I got going on here now. Mmm. Alright, I'm going to eat my best breakfast sandwich in the world. You guys enjoy your time. Yeah. Hey, you know, why is, why does breakfast have to be time sensitive, right? Why why can't why can't I just enjoy whatever I want to enjoy? You are probably the kind of person that says, uh, why it's it's fucking winter time. It's snowing. Why are you eating ice cream? Fuck off. Maybe I just want some ice cream. It's summer. Why are you eating hot clam chowder? It's like cuz clam chowder is bomb as fuck. Why can't I just enjoy it when it's hot, you know? Maybe maybe I want to sweat out some calories before I eat. <laughs> Oh, uh, God. Because it's, cause I'm an ice cream fiend, that's why, okay? I have issues. And that's for me and my loved ones to deal with, okay? I don't, I don't need you in that in, in that mess. I don't need you in that mix. That is true. It's very true. Look, you know, don't you see those Korean videos where... I mean, I could just eat right here, right? Hmm. Yeah, I'll just chill and eat. And talk to you guys. I'm ugly, and I have a lot of hair, and I don't want you guys to see me, really. So you guys won't. Mm. Mm. Oh, a pillow. When you make your eggs, instead of salting the, um, only salt though, only salt, because pepper burns. Mmm, so good. When you're salting your eggs, instead of like the salt in your pan that sticks like a motherfucker, like that. <laughs> so you, um, you could, um, you salt the bottom of the pan, right? And it doesn't really do too much about stopping it from sticking, but it does, it does enough. It does, it does its job. Like, it makes it stick like a little less. If you salt the bottom of the pan and then you put your eggs on it. Mm. Oh, that day you go to McDonald's and they tell you breakfast ends at 11 and you break down mentally and go from I do I do kind of break down Ooh. dude this is actually so fucking good like this is this is the best breakfast sandwich I ever eat is the one I make here not at Denny's not at fucking McDonald's this one, the simple, easy, well put together. Do you want a little kiss? Want a little... Ooh, look at that. Ooh, ooh. Hey, take a bite. Take a bite. Hum, yum, yum, yum. Ah. Wow, good, good bite, guys. Mm. Hmm. Oh, it's not. It's not. I'm sorry. But I just use bacon because it's what I had on hand. I got thin ham, and I got like um, I use like sausages. I got sausage links, and what I do is I mold them into like a sausage patty because it's just ground ground hamburger sausage, whatever. In the shape of a sausage link, I can I can mold it into whatever I want it to be. So I make a very thin patty. And I use that sometimes. Um, any kind of meat, really. I use, like, I guess. Well, typically, preserved salted meats would be the best. But, you know, your world. Experiment. Go crazy. Because, believe it or not, this was not the first iteration. The first iteration was just eggs and bread. And then I built upon that, which would be egg cheese. And then I was like, you know, maybe I want my, my bread toasted sometimes. And then I learned about mayonnaise and how that could be used as a toast toasting agent. And then I, um, how should I say? Um, yeah, I use it. I'm just hungry. <laughs> One more bite. And I started incorporating meats. And then I just kind of began, like, just refining. 
the, 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 the method. So my bacon, I cooked it on a, on a lower heat than the normal to make it a little bit more crunchy, not as not as um bendy and juicy. The bread, I cooked at really high heat, so it's a very um like a like a crust. And um, but but the but the bready part is very soft and um, moist. It's very moist, stays moist. It's not it doesn't get stale, and the egg. You know, you just cook egg however you want to cook it. It's kind of kind of weird. We gotta fill out eggs because they're just they're very um. How should I say? Volatile. I guess. Cause like they're cold and then they absorb a lot of the heat immediately, and then it cools your pan down. Hmm. <laughs> it's ice cream, you fuck. Put that ice cream down. Oh, no, no, it's not. It's, ice. it's it's a winner, you fuck. Put that ice cream down. Fucking smacking ice creams out of people's hands in the winter. I respect that though. Takes a man of conviction, a man of justice, to uphold such. Virtuous values. What should I cook next? I might just make this a couple more times on the stream and just hang out with you guys. It's always a good time. Is my title just the best breakfast? So it's the best breakfast sandwich. Because it's not telling me like the full title. It just says best breakfast. This is not the best breakfast. But it's the best breakfast sandwich. I put too much pepper. I haven't used that pepper grinder before, so... No, I know. <laughs> it's not hollow. That is true. Mm. So, I have a big project I want to cook. Mm. I want to cook bacon panini with um chicken bacon um, panini, probably sourdough bread and maybe like um I don't know the cheese yet. I'll think on the cheese because I it was, I I'm not a picky eater anymore. I like I like a lot of different things. So some people I might cook it for might not like the cheeses, so I'll ask them what they want. And probably sourdough bread. Maybe seven, maybe twelve grain bread, because I like grainy bread when it comes to hearty sandwiches. We'll see. But then, but then that, but then uh, to go with that would be a uh, butternut squash soup. I'll probably make it a little bit more sweeter than a normal. This is to, just to offset the, the the saltiness of the bacon panini, chicken bacon panini, and that combo is so fucking good. I just gotta think what else I would want with it. I mean, that could be good on its own, but maybe I want like a type of drink. I don't know, but I want to make that with my friend. This is a. Right, I'll talk to him about it. See what time would be a good time, and then you can stream it. They don't know I do this, but it's not like it's a secret. I just haven't told them. It's recent. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably gonna end stream. Thanks, man. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking it out. I'm glad you're hanging out. <laughs> cereal! Cereal! Mmm. Something vegan, you say? I could make butter in a scratch soup just on its own, just because I never, I never made it at my house before. So. I could just make it, and we could just, like, hang out. Tofu? Ooh. I mean, with the, mm. look, you don't understand me, okay? Like, like, tofu, like my comfort zone is is all encompassing, okay? I cooked tofu many times before. Went to culinary school, but um, maybe 
I'm thinking about, I'm just thinking about what tofu dish. True, your facts, facts. It is, it usually is. Dude, oh, watch this, watch, look, look, look. We'll show you, huh? Some fall phone. The jobs that worked at, I was always a sauce boss. Look, I put together this marinara sauce, spaghetti sauce, and I've just been like making pasta fresh and then eat, incorporating it and eating it for a while now. It's so good. It's so fucking good, dude. Oh, like I gave it to, to my friend. He th immediately when he tasted it, he perked the fuck up. Like his eyes lit up. It was so, it was the best feeling. Best feeling. Sauce boss. Tofu. You're right though. I wanna I get more diverse with it with it. Hmm. I guess I'll bring some more some tofu ideas. But I haven't really cooked a whole lot of tofu like on my own. <laughs> Just for you, is that where you're at? <laughs> oh. Maybe there's no hollow restaurants in Mississippi, it makes sense. Vegan, vegan, vegan. I could like make like a vegan beef stew with tofu. That's always nice. Make it kind of spicy too. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too familiar with the the, the all the, the the technicalities of it all. Probably. And then there's vegetarian, just vegan. Veg um, what else is there? This is a pescatarian, right? Fucking pescatarians. So what, huh? You eat fucking squid and dolphin? The hell is smart? <laughs> Only dolphin. <laughs> Have you had that? Is that real? Dude, people might think I'm fucked up, but I don't eat anything. Like, if someone were to serve me some endangered food, like species, like, there's only like five more dolphins in the world, and we kill this one, and you can eat it, and they can eat it. Like, fuck, man, it's already dead. <laughs> Spit roast dolphin, that'd be, that'd be a funny sight. Maybe it wouldn't be. I was thinking, like, the spit roasted dolphin would look like it's, it's, it's sleeping out of the water. But it's just on a fucking stick. Yo, baby dolphins on a stick, deep fried. Think of that, and the bones would be so so soft and and like cartilage, so you just bite bite right through them, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, dolphin emoji. I agree. All right, I'm in stream. It's fun, good time. Thanks for hanging with me, Wigga. Talk to you, talk to you later. I'll probably stream. I don't know. Cause I'll just, I stream usually whenever, but it would be like this and then me like reading shit, but alright, take care man, peace.